Welcome to WebD168. You're going to need to get the textbook exercises. So go to the website for the textbook, which is learningwebdesign.com, www.learningwebdesign.com. And under reading resources, to the right, there's a part that says exercise material. And when you click on that, here's a zip file lwd5e underscore materials dot zip and that's the one that you want to copy to your computer. We'll be working on exercises based on that during the course of this class. So you download it. And I have it installed. I created a folder in my desktop and I happen to be using Linux in this example. I have a Linux VM that's actually sitting on my Windows environment. So that way I can do all my experimentation and stuff for the class without messing up my Windows environment. Plus Linux is free. So in my WebD168 folder, which is where I'm going to organize my stuff for my class. I have a, a cr I created a folder called textbook and that's where I downloaded the zip file. And when I unzip that file, it creates a another folder called LWD 5e materials. And then it actually creates another file called LWD 5 materials and underscore Mac OS X because that's what the author used to, to zip up the exercises. But the stuff you need is in this second folder here. And you can see that there are fo folders which contain exercises that are in the textbook. And so you don't need to get all of them because we're not covering every single chapter. However, if you have not had previous experience with WebD162 or this materials really you're rusty at it, I would advise that you step through some of the exercises. They're pretty good. But what we're going to do is we're going to be working on an exercise based on chapter four. Chapter four, exercise five. So I will show you the, that setup. So in chapter four, exercise five, they already give you the fixed finished exercises. Okay. So you would actually start out from bistro.txt and create this website. We're going to do an extension on ex exercise four five. And if I, click on exercise four five, you can see there's a web page and it is, when I resize it, it just pretty much stays the same. This is the minimum size I can resize it to. And the problem is when I get, if I were on a really wide screen, it would still stay centered and it would, you know, my, if you had very long text, it could be all one line, very difficult to look at. Or if, if you got too small, if you didn't have that large image, it might be three characters per line and that's ridiculous too. So we want to work on making this a responsive website and we want to set some, some breakpoints. So first let's do the setup. What you're going to do is you want to basically, basically copy black goose PNG and exercise four five, and you want to move them into some different folder where you're going to be doing your exercises. So I'm going to copy these and so I'm copying them and now I'm going to navigate up uh, 
under textbook because these are textbook exercises. And I'll just create a new folder and it will be called exercises. I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to paste those two files. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the materials. This time I'm going to go into chapter 13 and I'm going to go to under images and I'm going to grab this file called gooseshadow.png. There's actually two of them. If I were to look at the properties, 163 by 81, and it's a PNG, and the other one's a little lighter, but it's, it's bigger, 148 by 191. I want the smaller one for when I'm in a mobile environment. So I'm going to grab this, the, and you can tell the difference because this is goose shadow with no underscore. This one is goose underscore shadow, the larger one. So I want goose shadow.png and you're going to copy it and then go into your exercises folder and paste it there. And so for, to do our first exercise, we're going to have these three files here. Okay, so that's the setup and join me for the next video where we're going to actually do stuff.